Hello and a very warm welcome back to KGC Engineering and to our mini project and I don't adjust your screens because it has just returned from the acid dipper so it is actually in uh, battleship grey primer rather than the, the green and white uh, that it went away with. Um, obviously now it's returned we can now do an assessment on the body shell and the panels to see what repairs are going to be needed or if indeed it is economically viable for us to actually do the repairs or will it be better and easier to just um, reshell the car. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll grab the camera and we'll go for a quick wander around so you can see what we've got left. Well, uh, we may as well start at the, uh, the front end of the car. Uh, as we sort of expected, there is, as you can see, quite a lot of... Uh, well, the rust is gone, but the... Uh, the remains of uh, the rust effect uh, has certainly uh, taken hold and so we're certainly going to need at least a new front panel on there. The, the outer wings on the whole generally are not actually that bad. There is quite a lot of uh, rust around the front but as we've also got to do some repairs to the inner wings and you hopefully see some holes down there um, and certainly further back in unfortunately we're going to end up having new front wings as well I think uh, yeah so moving along down the driver's side now we can also see here we've got a lot of uh, corrosion has been in here in the sill area and there again exactly the same you can see it just as badly on the inside um, and obviously also where we had to, where it was really corroded and this is all part of the inner wing here so this is what we will be uh, replacing and luckily we can get a complete panel uh, to do the whole wing so we'll possibly be looking at doing that. Uh, whilst we're here as well uh, you can see that the, the, uh, the front panel there at the bottom of the screen and basically the whole screen surround really is going to have to be replaced unfortunately it is it it's not in the best condition as you can probably tell we've got more holes uh, down here and that uh, and then the back end uh, again is actually really quite worrying <laughs> Uh, yeah, obviously we've got these massive holes here the rear valance is pretty much gone there's very little left of it um, in places it really is very in very very poor condition uh, and hopefully they'll be able to see as well that there's uh, a great big hole in the, the wheel arches as well at the back now we, luckily we can get all the parts for the Mini we can get all the panels that we need um, and again it's the same story this side again holes down the bottom here and again the sills will need replacing the floor is particularly bad again at the front end and again with the front inner wing it really is quite horrendous I can literally get my hand through here um, it is uh, that bad um, so obviously we're going to be certainly looking at a lot of panels to replace uh, and like I said in the opening if not uh, I think it will it's very much a on the verge of either a reshell or you know spend the time and uh, put it all back together right again so that's the, the body shell um, so obviously that is the main concern is that it is obviously not in the best condition overall um, but a lot more of it came back than I will admit that, that I than I expected to so I was uh, quite pleased that I was sort of half expecting you know the roof and about six pillars and that might be about it um, but on to the other panels uh, obviously we've got the the doors here um, the pas passenger side door which is this one um, is actually in fairly good condition um, it does need some dents knocking out of it and the new bottom going on as you can see there is quite corroded along the bottom edge there uh, and obviously we'll be putting new hinges and things on but well, that is all repairable, so that door is okay. The driver's side door, again, is very much the same. There's a couple of little holes here and there, but other than that, it's in really, really good condition. There's no or oh, very, very little corrosion on the bottom edge of it. 
so that is certainly one savable panel. Uh, and then obviously we've got the, the boot boot lid here, which as you can see is very, very corroded along the bottom edge. There's even a bit of a dent here, which you might be able to see there. Um, and for what it's worth, I think it's just going to be a case of let's get a new one. Um, because we'll spend a lot of time you know, repairing it and it's not really going to be uh, worth it when we can just get a new one that's all done and sorted. And finally we have the bonnet and again this is not in the best of health there's quite a few um, rust holes at the far and the corners and it's got dented as well uh, I think whilst it was in storage elsewhere we haven't caused the dents and neither have the the dippers um, but under here the cross bracing for it is all loose which you might be able to see sort of wiggling about now um, so it's one of those potentially we could repair it but for the price of a new bonnet I'd say let's just buy a new one but obviously this is all up to the customer uh, and what they want to do. So as you can see our mini project is possibly going to be a bit troublesome. We may well have to reshell the car, we've certainly got some repairs to do, we've definitely got repairs to do if the owner doesn't want to reshell it. Um, and working out the cost, we can get all the parts which is a wonderful thing. Um, but. You know, it depends on how much the, the owner wants to you know, look after it uh, and keep you know, his car. So we will obviously find out in the next video what the decision is going to be, whether we're going to go ahead and repair the body shell or are we going to look at reshelling. So until then, take care and happy classic motoring.